kukaa tukijua ya kwamba we need the spiritual wisdom we need to know this god we need kuwa wasomaji wa neno kwa sababu kupitia neno we shall be able to understand god we shall be able to understand the will of god ya kwamba mungu amekuwa akitunenea hata katika wiki hiyo ambao tumekuwa na theme ambayo inasema ya kwamba working for the lord as we wait for his second coming na tumeambiwa kwa jia nyingi tumefafanuliwa kwa jia nyingi how we are supposed to work for god in which way na tumeambiwa serving god is not in vain kwa sababu yeye aliyeweka kazi jema ndani yetu yeye ndiye atakuja kuikamilisha na tumejifunza ya kwamba kila mmoja kuna kazi ambao you have been assigned to kwa sababu Yesu anakuja hivi karibuni hakuna anajua saa ala dakika wakati atadhirishwa vile tumekumbushana ya kwamba tumtendee kazi like he is coming in the next minute kwa sababu wawili watakuwa wakitembea pamoja mmoja atachukuliwa na mwingine atabaki kwa hivyo inafaa tukae tukiwa watchful kwa sababu we are in the evil days tuko katika siku za mwisho ambazo tunastahili kuwa waangalifu watchful knowing that the evil one is roaming like a lion akitafuta mtu wa kuchanganya mtu wa, ku, wa kupoteza ili asikamfanyie Mungu kazi na ni vizuri kukaa tukijua ya kwamba kazi zetu lazima zitajaribiwa na moto kazi zetu zile tunamfanyia Mungu hizo ndiyo zitatutangulia kwa hivyo wakati tumfanyie tunapofanyia Mungu kazi inafaa tukae na imani tufanye hiyo kazi kwa imani imani ni matendo imani bila matendo imekufa kwa hivyo hata hii kazi hatuwezi bila kutembea na imani. Kwa hivyo namshukuru Bwana. Asubuhi tukaambiwa ya kwamba sisi in Ephesians 2:10 tukaambia tukaambiwa ya kwamba we are for we are his workmanship for good work. Pia tukaambiwa the harvest is plenty lakini watenda kazi ni wachache kazi iko tusiseme hakuna kazi nifanye nini ukiangalia kanisa unaona kila sehemu imejazwa lakini hebu wakati wote jijaji ni neema gani niko nayo hata kama hiyo neema huoni ikifanya kazi katika nyumba ya Mungu ka ukijua ya kwamba hiyo nafasi imekaa hivyo kwa sababu wewe hujaamka kufanya kazi kulingana na neema ambayo Mungu amekupatia. Tukaenda katika pure word ambao tulisoma in Colossians 1:9 9 up to 14. Ikatukumbusha kuhusu maombi. Najua hii kazi huwezi kumfanyia Mungu kazi kama hauna hekima. If you don't have wisdom, if you don't have knowledge, if you don't have understanding, and this one you can acquire through prayers and praying for one another. Because this wisdom it's not the wisdom ya vitabu. Inawapiwa word tulielezwa this wisdom that we need. It's not the wisdom ya kusoma ama experience it is a wisdom you need to pray every time every time continually kwa sababu ni wisdom ambayo inaweza unaweza pata leo kesho ufanye mambo bila hekima ni wisdom ambayo unahitaji kama vile Daudi alisema ya kwamba Mungu asimuondolee roho mtakatifu alimsihi Bwana asimuondolee roho mtakatifu kwa hivyo tunafaa kukaa tukijua ya kwamba we need the spiritual 
wisdom. We need to know this God. We need kuwa wasomaji wa neno. Kwa sababu kupitia neno, we shall be able to understand God. We shall be able to understand the will of God. We shall be able to know ya kwamba ile kazi tunafanya inampendeza Bwana. In Colossians 3:23 na 24, tukasoma ya kwamba whatever we do, we do it like to the Lord. Tufanye jambo lote kama tunamfanyia Bwana, not man. Kwa nini? For there is a reward for it. Na neno la Bwana pia lasema ya kwamba tushike sana tulicho nacho. Hiyo neema uko nayo. Ishike hiyo ndiyo utaridhi ufalme nayo. That grace shika sana kwa sababu Yesu hivi karibuni anakuja kulipa kila mmoja kulingana na kazi yake. Hautalipwa na neema ya mwingine. Hautalipwa na kazi za mwingine. The only thing you can do ni kuombeana. Uombe huyo mwingine si kumuombea leo unavujika moyo lakini kuomba continuously for continuous wisdom for continuous knowledge for continuous understanding Bwana asifiwe I thank God kwa sababu Mungu ni mwaminifu ametuita na mwito mtakatifu na anatupenda kila mmoja na dipoza kama la Sunday what I told you ya kwamba you are God's idea. Kwa hivyo wakati wote usijidescribe kulingana na vile watu wanakuambia. Wewe jika ukijua Mungu alikujua kabra, ujakuja duniani hii. Na yako na mpango mzuri. You are God's idea. Whatever you are going through, you are God's idea. Bwana asifiwe. Sitaki kutoka hapo katika kufanya kazi kwa sababu roho wa Mungu amekuwa akitutembeza katika hiyo kazi and I thank the man of God hakuwa ameona notes zangu lakini ametaja taja mambo ambayo roho wa Mungu wakati niliambiwa nitanena alinikujia na katika uh, my topic itakuwa working and waiting for the Lord at a cost at a cost working and waiting for the lord at a cost nataka kusema nini cost of any successful ministry kama unataka kufauru katika kila jambo na hii sana sana ya kiroho lazima ukubali kugarimika lazima ukubari kugarimika kwa nini kwa sababu Yesu alikubari kugarimika tukisoma in 1 Corinthians 6:20 wa Korintho wa kwanza 6:20 Uh, nitaenda ili wa, uh, media team wanapo watakimbizana na sisi naona there is a challenge but we shall continue ni vizuri kujua ya kwamba we are bought at a price therefore honor god with your body Yesu Kristo ndiye alitangulia kugarimika kwa sababu yetu akagarimika kwa kusurubishwa msalabani akamwaga damu akakufa na akafufuka so we are not just there by chance sisi tulinunuliwa we were bought niko kwa watu wagorirwo bwana asifiwe kwa hivyo hata sisi hii wokovu kama tunataka kufauru 
lazima tukubari kugarimika pia na mili yetu anasema ya kwamba tukikaa tumemwamini tutafanya mambo makuu kuliko yale alifanya kwa hivyo kwa muda ambayo Mungu ametupatia ni vizuri kukaa tukijua ya kwamba tulinunuliwa kwa gharama tusicheze na hii wokovu nataka kusema jambo moja for us to achieve anything we have our youth waligarimika in order for them to achieve this token waligarimika hawakutoka kabla hawajafanya mazoezi wakaenda kushindana ili wabidi wafanye mazoezi ili wabidi wajitayarishe vile watashinda bwana asifiwe vijana wetu walikuwa the voice of vala niliwatazama nikaona the cost ambao walienda walikuwa nashinda hata walikuwa na kesha hapa walikuwa wanakaa chini walikuwa wanaomba walikuwa wana fast mpaka nilikuwa nimefika pahali na hurumia my daughter Mercy nikitazama west inaendelea kuwa na kawesi toka hapo ukitaka kuwa chief lazima ugarimike It was not just like that. Vile muliona mkesha ili ja. Mpaka wali, ili wabidi waketi viti ya plastic ikuje hapa inakesha. It costed them. Kwa hivyo gharama mkiona vimeundwa. Mkiona vime vimeelea. Jua zimefanya nidi vimeundwa kila kitu ina ga, ni gharama hata katika wewe kumfanyia Mungu kazi lazima ukubari kugarimika it's not just like that hakuna kitu ambao unaweza ku achieve just like that lazima ugarimike lazima kuwe na kitu inaitwa sacrifice sacrifice of your time sacrifice ya kujinyima sacrifice ya kugojea sacrifice ya endurance sacrifice ya perseverance so if we want any achievement hata sasa lazima tukubari kama tunataka kusimama katika wokovu ukisoma philippians Philippians 2 12 tuanze hapo 12 Philippians ni wa Filipi 2 12 ina, inasema hivi Therefore my beloved my beloved Nasikia echoes Therefore my beloved As you have always obeyed not as in my presence only but now much more in my absence work out your own salvation with fear and with fear and wacha nisome kwa Kiswahili wapenzi wangu nilipokuwa nanyi Muliniti daima na hata sasa ni wapo mbali nanyi endeleeni kutii fanyeni kazi kwa hovu na tetemeko kwa ajili ya ukombozi wenu bwana asifiwe nimesema tulinunuliwa kwa gharama kwa hivyo you are bought at a price 
kama vile nilitangulia kutestify ya kwamba hapo tumefika ili mgarimu reverend jana tulikuwa na udhoni wa Ian na Tabi ili mgarimu kwa sababu nataka kusema nini chips is expensive and when the deal is so eh is so sweet drink kuna kitu nataka kusema najua kama kijana kama hujagalimika utakuwa ukichezea huyo mama vile tu nata eh hata utakuwa ukimnaretia vile ulimpa lakini kama akigalimika kwa sababu ya huyo madam ataweza kumvumilia kwa sababu anaweza kosa kujua udhaifu wake before lakini si wakiona si atamjua ataweza kumvumilia na ataweza kuwa akijua ya kwamba ili mgarimu kitu ya kwanza ili aligalimika both sides kwa maombi to get mtu mzuri he who gets a good wife or a good man fights a good thing a good thing you don't just get it it costs you i like mwalimu tunamuita daktari siku moja nilikuwa kwa wazee akaambia wazee and then mkatoe mahari kwa mabibi zenu msiseme ya kwamba ati Yesu aliwalipia gharama and then mgarimike I remember what he told the wazes. Kwa hivyo kama unataka kitu mzuri kubari kugarimika. Kwa sababu Yesu hata vile tumeokoka for us to be in the house of God seated peacefully. Yesu aligarimika for our salvation. So this salvation We should work out. Tumeambiwa work out. In salvation you cannot go anywhere if you don't work out in prayer. If you don't work out to be filled with the Holy Spirit. This salvation you cannot make it if you don't work out to be found in seeking God. Yeye anasema seek me and you shall find me ask and you shall be given so you will need to work out for this salvation ili kila wakati unakaa umesamehewa ukae ukifaa mbele zake bwana kusamehewa dhambi kila wakati so you need also always to be humbling yourself and repenting your sin and even seeking god every time because many times we find ourselves doing the wicked things in our thoughts in our eyes in our doings so in this salvation every time unafa kukaa ukijitakaza na damu ya Yesu na ndio maana ni kazi na hii kazi lazima ugarimike dhambi zingine haziondoki tu hivi kusamehewa kwingine hausamehewi tu hivi itabidi ufunge uombe na ufunge ugarimike kwa hivyo kama Yesu akirudi tunataka kuridhi hii ufalme we must work out this salvation with fear and trembling let's continue from there go to that in inasema for it is god who works in you lazima ukubari mungu afanye kazi ndani yako lazima ukubari mungu aingie katika maisha yako kwa sababu hii kazi the working out your salvation be sustained in salvation it requires god allowing god to control your life it's never by mind nor my by might 
So, for it is God who works in you, both to will and to do for his good pressure. Ni mungu tu. Kiswahiri nasema, kwa ni mungu, die afanyaye kazi daima. Dani yenu. Na kuwapeni uwezo wa kutaka na kutekereza mambo ya nayopatana na mpango wake mwenyewe. Bwana asifiwe. Ni mungu tu anaweza kukusaidia kufanya mapenzi yake. Ni mungu tu anaweza kukusaidia kufanya mambo kulingana na mpango wake. Tuendele. Do all things without complaining and disputing. Fanyeni kila kitu bila kunugunika na bila upishi. Bwana asifiwe. Working out our salvation. Lazima tukubari kugarimika. Na wakati tunagarimika, ili tugarimike. Ningetaka kabra tuendele. Kuna jambo Reverend alisema kuhusu kupanga. Sisi kuwa hapa inawapiwa word somebody narrated. Ya kwamba somebody it costed somebody. I, alisikia mwito. Aliposikia mwito akakubari hiyo mwito. Na kila mwito ina gharama. Kila mwito ina gharama. Kukubali kuja kuwa pasta. You know mimi nikiwa msichana. Kwa sababu ya yale nilikuwa naona wahubiri wakipitia. Kuna muhubiri mmoja kwetu alikuwa anatembea na kabaiskeri. Na anaenda safari ndefu sana akija katika ushirika. Na niliona vile aligarimika. So nikiwa msichana niliishi kusema singetaka kuolewa na pasta. Little did I know finally. So you need God. I know even you there are so many things. Unasema hauwezi taka. Lakini unahitaji Mungu. Unahitaji roho wake ili ujue kwa sababu mambo mengi utataka. Niliolewa na Reverend akiwa tuta mwalimu wanaitaka walimu wa walimu na nikajua nimeangukia kuolewa na na mwalimu na Mungu akakubali tutembee na mwalimu huyu eh nikafurahia walimu akaendelea akawa promoted akaperekwa kwa office ya mkuu ya president akaendelea nikaona he na kweli hii hii ilikuwa Mungu tukaendelea na Mungu akakubali tukapata ile yote tulikuwa tunata kwa sababu ya kuolewa na na mwalimu na nikaona vile nimeangukia na nikaona vile Mungu alisikia maombi yangu ya vile mimi singetaka heri ni mimi nilipenda kumfanyia Mungu kazi hata nilitukutana na yeye alikuwa anapenda kazi ya Mungu na everywhere we went Tukienda kanisa fulani tulikuwa tunaitwa tunaambiwa mi naona nyinyi ni viongozi nataka muongoze hapa na hapa and many times we could refuse kwa sababu hatukutaka kukaribia pale pa uchugaji lakini tunahitaji Mungu kukaa na kutembea na sisi tunahitaji ili tujue mapenzi yake Nilisema ya kwamba mapenzi ya Mungu Mungu alitujua na kila mmoja wetu tumeletwa hapa na kusudi. Kwa hivyo hata katika maisha yetu lazima mapenzi ya Mungu yatimie. Tupende tusipende. Bwana in Isaiah 55 inasema at our thoughts and the thoughts of God ni kama dunia na na ndio maana tunastahili kumtafuta Bwana. Kwa sababu katika yale yote 
ilipofika wakati wa covid hapo ndiyo Mungu alitupata hapo ndiyo ali, alitupata wakati makanisa ilifungwa na ikasemekana ya kwamba tuombe manyumbani sisi tuliaza ibada yetu pale nyumbani na tukawa na ibada ile ya kweli on sunday tulipangana as a family kila mmoja alikuwa na siku yake ya kuongoza kuhubiri na kutangaza matangazo sasa nakumbuka tukiwa hapo katika ibada tulipomaliza ibada yetu reverend aka akatuangalia hivi katuambia yeye yeah, akiomba Mungu amemuita ahubiri na wakati alisema hivyo tukamkondorea macho eh? i remember the uh, elder bet kuna wakazi tu, 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 alikuja kwetu akatukuta katika ibada na tukumuingiza kwa hiyo ibada <laughs> ilikuwa ibada ya familia lakini alikuwa anachungulia naona hapo tukifanya ibada kwa sababu kuna kazi alikuwa anafanya na hapo kwa nini tukumuuzisha kwa sababu reverend kuna kitu alikuwa anataka kutuambia as a family akatuambia amesikia mwito ati Mungu amemwambia ya kwamba anataka amserve to another in another level. Tukamuuliza level gani? Akatuambia ati anasikia Mungu anataka anataka amtumikie kama mhubiri. Tukamtazama. I remember Masi. Akauliza dad. Dad, hebu nikuulize kwa sababu unataka kuhubiri uko na washirika. Dada akamjibu akamwambia already niko na washirika. Tayari you are there. Wewe ndio uta ukua, mambo yatakuwa kiongoza na wewe una lead praise and worship. Vitana natangaza na mimi nahubiri. Hiyo si ni washirika tayari. Neno la Mungu linasema wherever two or three are gathered. I mean their presence. Aya, tukaona kama ni jokes. Haya kukaka tukaona ndevera ameanza kuchora how he rule have a church sasa imagine kanisa zimefungwa na tumeanza tumeanza kupanga vile tutakuwa na church akatuuliza yani muone kama it is possible akatuuliza alisa hiyo ametukondolea macho kwa sababu anaona vile tumeshangaa tunajaribu kuimagine kazi ya mchungaji Victor akasema mimi mimi naamini dad kutoka wakati nilijielewa sijawahi ona umesema kitu ikakosa kufanyika kwa hivyo mimi naamini hivyo unasema in Luke 14:28 Inasema hivi Ruko ruka Dauga rukere yake koyo kana Unajua ni luko ni ruka wacha niachi hapo Ruka 14:28 Inasema hivi For which of you intending to build a tower does not sit down first and count the costs whether he has enough to finish it twendele rest after he has laid the foundation and is not able to finish all who see it begin to mock him saying this man began to build and was not able to finish all what king going to make war against wa, wacha tufike hapo bwana asifiwe nataka kusema nini akaanza kuchora akaniambia tujipange tuende kuona bishop 
tukaenda hata wakati tuli tulienda kwa bishop bishop akatuangalia unajua that time i was the chair lady and he was the chairman of development sasa bishop yeye alikuwa anasema that's a prayer answered na akatuambia yeye alikuwa na mpango wa kufugua branch hapa kasarani na bypass kwa hivyo tuwe tayari kuanza kazi ya Mungu na akatuuliza when do we start want to start Are you imagining? <laughs> Tukaanza by faith. Tukajipanga na tukajipanga tuko katika kanisa yenye tulikuwa tuna hudumu kwa sababu finally tukijipanga kanisa lilifunguliwa na ilikuwa inafaa wasome watu ngapi? Kumi na tano. Tukaenda na tukaambia our reverend na tukamwambia siku ile tunasema kwa heri. Na wakati tulienda kusema kwa bae tukaenda na sacrifice kuambia hatukujua pahali tutafugua kanisa hatukujua lakini tukawaambia tumesikia mwito na tumekubali hiyo mwito tukawaambia kwa heri na watu tukawaacha hivyo wamehang akina wambogo walikuwa nakimbia kututafuta kutuuliza na mumesema mnafugua kanisa wapi by then we didn't know lakini tulienda na Mungu akatuonyesha the way god brought us here it's very miraculous tulienda tukasoma first service akatuweka sisi vile tu tuko akaenda akatupeleka tukaenda kuangalia pale edorado tukitazama hapo edorado tukaona hatuoni pahali yeyote kuna weza wekwa kanisa tulipokuwa tukirudi Mmoja wao kulikuwa na wazee walikuwa na keti hapo walikuwa nasoma gazeti tukarudia by, by the time we were coming in Jia Church Road haikuwa through ulikuwa unapitia hapa unarudia ilikuwa inaenda hivi kwa hivyo wakaona wakaona sisi ni wageni tumepotea mzee mmoja akajua tutaenda tufike pale Little Heavens kisi kuna nyumba hiyo hapo inaitwa Little Heaven Tutarafu tuta, lazima tutarudi kwa sababu hakuna njia ya kuingia kwa rami. Tulipokuwa tunarudi tukamkuta pale. Akatuambia naona kama mmepotea na ni kama mnatafuta kitu. Tukamwambia eh mnajua mtu yeyote hapa amejenga anataka ku church. Akatuambia mnaona pale ikulikuwa kumejengo hiyo ukuta hivyo. Mnaona hiyo gate ya black huyo mama alisema ametayarisha hapo pahali kwa sababu ya kanisa hataki pawekwe pamba ama spirit na nini akasema kwa sababu ya kanisa naweza wape namba yake ya simu tukamwambia eh kupigia mama aliruka ruka akatuambia nyinyi ndio nilikuwa ninatengenezea pahali pale na akatuambia endeni hapo ile mnakusudia kufanya endeni muone kiyateka ampe ufunguo mfungue hiyo kanisa that is how we got this church bwana asifiwe working and waiting for the lord working and waiting at a cost Lazima ukubari kugarimika. Haikuwa lazima ungekubari. Ile yote umekuwa ikiinvest, uwe tayari. It's not just like that. Ime tugarimu. Na bado tunaenda mbali. Kwa sababu Yesu aligarimika. Alitununua kwa gharama. Nasi lazima tukubari kugarimika kwa sababu ya kazi ya Mungu hata wewe u, imegarimu mkono wa Bwana wewe kuja hapa i know which one of you either through the media ama kusikia imetugarimu for us to be here siku ya kwanza tulikuja hapa kufungua 
hii church wenye hii plot walikusanyika and by the time tulikuwa tunatoka tukakuta plot nzima wametugojea pale wakituambia kwani mnataka kufanya nini hapo sisi hapa tuko na watoto wadogo haiwezekani nyinyi kufungua kanisa tukaongea nao wakatulia walikuwa nasema mpaka watatustaki kwa lad road kwa sababu proti yake watu watatoroka na that time wanatuambia ilikuwa na manafasi lakini by faith tulikubali kugarimika na wacha niwaambie wenye plot naenda nikikat short hizo story alipo ambiwa yeye ata alishangaa alifikiri plot yake watu watahama lakini ikawa the other way round nyumba ambazo zilikuwa na watu zikajaa watu hata wakati alikuwa anavuta maji akaniita kaniambia mama naona hamna maji na mimi navuta maji kutoka pale si ukubari ugarimike tuvute maji pamoja ya hii nyumba bwana asifiwe kugarimika kwa sababu ya kazi ya Mungu Let's go to First Chronicles 21:24 Naona masaa inaisha na hata sijafika nusu ya ujumbe wangu First Chronicles 21:24 Hiyo ndio nitamalizia kwa sababu masaa tayari imeisha hata imeisha Then David Then King David said to Onan No but I will surely buy it for the full price for I will not take what is yours for the Lord no offer burnt offerings with that which cost me nothing Bwana asifiwe Haleluya Nampenda Daudi Daudi alijua siri ya kumtumikia Bwana Na deposa even when he was being offered Tulisema ya kwamba when the deal is so sweet Think twice Na cheap is expensive Usikatamani kuwa na kitu ambaye hujagalimikia usikubari kuwa na jambo maishani mwako katika jambo ambao hujagalimika kama unataka kumtumikia bwana kubari kumtumikia bwana na masaa yako na pesa zako you must sacrifice sacrifice in enduring if you want yesu aligarimika for us to be found tazama safari ya yesu kwa hivyo nataka kuambia kama vile daudi even when he was being offered alikuwa anapewa hivi bure labda wengi wetu tungesema tumeangukia tungesema ya kwamba ni mkono wa Bwana lakini Daudi niliaza nikisema kuhusu kazi ya Bwana lazima we need the holy spirit this holy spirit we need to understand we need the wisdom of god we need the knowledge of god we need the understanding ya kwamba kazi zetu ndio zitatutangulia na hiyo kazi kazi yote ni kazi kazi ni kazi wakati unafanya kazi haukuagi ukicheka ina uchovu ina mambo mengi lakini nataka kusema kuhusu kazi ya Bwana hata wakati tunafanya kazi ya Bwana kulingana na neema 
utaambiwa mambo ambayo itakushusha moyo lakini kubali kugarimika kwa sababu ya kazi ya Bwana kama hakuna mtu aligarimika kwa sababu ya hii kazi ungekuwa ukiketi kwa kiti kama hiyo kama hakuna mtu aligarimika alikubali kugarimika hatungekuwa na sanctuary this beautiful kwa hivyo hata sisi tumeitwa sisi ni watenda kazi and the heavens is plenty imagine mungu aligarimika ni sisi tukubali kugarimika ili tuweze kuenda to another level if you want to come out pahali uko kama utaki kukaa pahali tu uko kubali kugarimika neno la Mungu linasema wazembe hata wasikure kwa hivyo hata kukura chakula ambayo hujasuetia ni dhambi tukubali kugarimika ili hata chakula ambao tunakula zinakuwa dawa ili kazi ambazo tunafanya tunapata maripo tukubali kugarimika bwana asifiwe daudi akasema ya kwamba hawezi kubali kumfanyia bwana kazi nisome kwa Kiswahili lakini mfalme Daudi alipoambiwa on nani ali eh? lakini mfalme Daudi alimwambia on nani la hasha nita vinunua kwa dhamani yake kamili sitamchukulia mwenyezi Mungu kitu kilicho chako au kumtolea tabiko za kutetekezwa ambazo hazijanigarimu kitu Bwana asifiwe Tuliambiwa we have come for service wewe sijui how much it has costed you Sijui how much Mungu akuitishaji kitu ambayo hauna but just the way you are you can offer even your own body for the sake of Christ kubari kugarimika kwa jia ya maombi kubari kugarimika kwa jia ya kudhiakiwa nawe Yesu anasema ushikirie sana ili wakati atakuja atalipa kila mmoja na gharama hakikisha what account are you putting in heaven what account kwa sababu hakuna maripo ambayo haina gharama lazima kama sisi tunaamkaga asubuhi kwa sababu ni kazi zetu. Unaamka asubuhi. Na tukisema watu wakuje hapa 5:45. Unasema ya kwamba hata huyo ref ameenda sana. Hajui wengine tuko na watoto wadogo. Tuko na sababu tunatoaga. Only because ni kazi ya Mungu. Lakini kama ni kazi yako hata ukiambiwa uende saa tisa. i remember there is a time wakati tulikuwa tunaenda family gathering tunaamka saa tisa. kwa sababu in that family gathering usipokuja you'll be fined even in our gatherings and our groups tunatilia manani sana tunatoa gitate kito gitate chetu in time Unaweza kuwa hata mbali sana. Lakini uwezi kubali kukosa kwenda getate. Kwa sababu getate mnamesha managia saa 3. Na hata kama ha, 
hauna. Siku ya getate ikifika utakopa. Ili utoe getate, usiwe find. What about the work of God? How many times unanugunika wakati unasikia let us meet every day. Na kazi yako every day unaweza amuka any time. Unaweza kimbizana na mpaka na basi imekuacha. Ili uende kazini kwa sababu unajua usipofika kazini mwisho wa mwezi utakatwa hiyo siku. Lakini hatu kubari kugarimika kwa sababu ya, ka, ya kazi ya Mungu. Na hii kazi ndio iko na maripo. Hii kazi ndio iko na baraka. Baraka ambazo zinatajirisha. Baraka ambazo hasifuatwi na uzuni. Baraka ambazo hata Mungu usipoendelea kumuomba bado tu ukirudi kwake atakuambia welcome my faithful servant. Bado tu atakutenda mema. Ndosi wako ukimkosea atakupea wali ni ya kwanza, ya pili, ya tatu akufute. Kwa nini tusigarimike? Kwa Mungu kuna maripo. Kwa Mungu kuna baraka nyingi ambazo zinaweza kututajirisha ambazo zinaweza kutupeleka mbali. Dugu zangu na dada zangu, tunajenga mega church. There is 18 million that we are supposed to pay there. Labda kwa masikio ya mtu tunaweza sikia kama ni nyingi. Lakini wakati unafikiria kujenga plot ama kununua plot, unatafutaka dia zile zote vile unaweza pata pesa ili ununue hiyo plot. Mungu atusaidie ya kwamba kumjengea Mungu what effort Leverage took a loan for us to start constructing this house. How many times have you ever taken a loan kwa sababu ya kazi ya Mungu? Unalipa kwa sababu ya Mungu. Now see, see what the Lord has done. See what the Lord has done. See what the Lord has done Has come to pass See what the Lord I hope God has serviced you This word was not meant for anyone Ilikuwa it was meant for me And it was meant for you May God help us as we work and wait for the second coming ya kwamba tutakuwa na kitu mkononi ambayo baba Mungu wetu akija atatulipa tukubari kugarimika kwa sababu ya wokovu na kwa sababu ya kazi ya Mungu tunaweza simama tusimame tusimame bwana heshima hii yako Bwana wa mabwana ibada hii ni yako